What's up? What's up? So for this particular reading, we're getting a check-in. We're going to see what's goody and what's going on. Okay, okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. I woke up really early this morning, did my, you know, early readings, and um, I thought about you in particular. So I'm very happy to hear about you and congratulations on everything. So, so from what I've gathered thus far, it's a major closing of cycles i apologize I had to grab the deck so it's been the major some major closings of cycles and that's wonderful all right that's what we want we want to move forward we want to be prosperous we want to be abundant and right now we want to see what is good and what is going on in the ethers for us at least i'm curious to see what's going on all right so let's see what's going on if i'm not mistaken we have a full moon in pisces coming up don't quote me on that. Don't please don't quote me on that. Okay. This is the Moonology Manifestation Oracle we're going to be using. And then here, the classic moonology. You know, just to see what's good and what's going on with you. Alright, so praise to the most high for having us here. Let's uh, get to it. Let's get straight into it. Let's see what's good and what's going on in the ethers. All right, cool. Let's start off with the moonology. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We're good to go. Okay. Bottom of the deck over here, we have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Beautiful. Okay. Boop. Boop. We have luck is on your side, but I definitely noticed that it did its own flip once it hit the table. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. We'll get into that. South node. Don't let your past hold you back. Eh, eh. Not us. We don't do that. Family, we move forward. That's what we do. All right. We work through our everything that's right okay and prosperity lies ahead new moon and taurus that's what i'd like to hear for you you feel me great things all right and prosperity isn't always the riches all right we can see prosperity in many forms love family support security uh you know prosperity all right we can keep it short okay let's check out the new moonology this is the moonology manifestation oracle that, that, that was a mouthful yeah, manifestation oracle. That's right. Okay. From the deck, we have full moon and Aries. Cool your emotions. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's calm it down there, bud. Feeling very animated right now. I'm not going to lie. I have a couple plans to get done. I'm going to get them done. But then I'm going to go and get a haircut. Then, like the last one I got, so I'm going to go get this one cleaned up. Nothing to do with anything. Maybe that's exactly what's going on. We're cleaning up, we're maintaining. We see the things that we like, and we're adjusting and we're fixing things so that we're truly happy. Beautiful. All right, let's rock. First quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Okay. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that imagery. All right, new moon in Pisces. Attuned to the divine. Mmm, beautiful. Okay. Mosad's trying to communicate with you, I see. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. Look at that. But honestly, as she's stepping, it's more of a release. You know what I mean? So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Aries season coming up. You already know. And last but not least, full moon cancer. Let your fears dissolve. All right? You're good to go. We don't have to worry about anything of our faith. Everything is in the hands of the most high. What's meant to be will be. So why are we going to, you know, we're just going to keep it simple. All right. So let's move forward and we can never operate in fear. That's not a characteristic of the most high. All right. It's more char more of a characteristic amongst the shadow side, the devil. But amongst the, mo mo amongst the most high, fear is not. Fear is not what we work with. We know what it is and we know that there's consequences, but we never have fear. So... Let's dissolve that. Get it? It says dissolve. All right. 
Anyway, influence in the read, bottom of the deck, page of swords. All right, are we learning something new? If we're not learning something new, it could be delayed communication. Maybe we're watching something from a distance. It looks like something is watching us possibly head on. All right, so let's see what's goody. Let's see what's goody and what's going on in the etherhood. Okay, ooh. We have a very loving, passionate divine masculine it seems all right now usually don't say this about the king of wands but he actually is very loving and passionate and as you can see this one he seems to be about romance he's rather relaxed and a charming energy all right yes the king of wands can be fired up and a go-getter but right now it seems that he's well balanced in his divine masculine energy yes that's the emperor okay knowing how and when to use each emotion or each uh element we can say okay good stuff good stuff oh five of swords so it looks like we took the initiative and we have successfully surrendered and let something go to the most high we don't have time for this it's not serving us we're going to move in another direction okay all right okay so bottom of the deck the star wish fulfillment healing all I do know is that she's pouring those cups of love into the earth and into the pond of life. All right. But as you see her, she's looking off, drifting and possibly stargazing. Not sure what's going on with that. But I want to say the love's being put back into the uh, ecosystem, back into the. I don't know. It'll come to me. Let's go. Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck, sleeping on needles. Joe no say. Here's we have five of cups. We have the chariot. And the sun. Alright, so we are a bit disappointed right now. We're definitely upset. We're definitely a bit upset. But um, you know, once we're over the grieving process, because it's normal. It's normal for people to grieve. We are moving forward in balanced energies. We already see that we are a divine masculine and we're moving forward for uh, choosing to use the king of wands. All right. Very passionate, loving and moving forward, conquering whatever hurdle may come in our way. If it comes into us, that is all right. But nonetheless, we're going to move forward towards happiness and brighter days. And it will be much brighter than a day that you ever could imagine. And I do see that there's upset. We do have the two cups i want to say goblets but the two cups in the background just waiting in the tree and that looks like the tree of life all right could this be a faded connection right here and possibly we, we pour it out the celebrations of joyful times the social gatherings and that was a different chapter of our lives i don't know but i do see i do see are those fe rose petals yeah those are rose petals all right so this could be your greatest love literally standing right behind you all right Okay. Eight of Wands. Hmm. True story. Could be communication. I don't know what it could be. I'm going to go with the simpler deck. So we can see what that's about. Eight of Wands, my friend. Eight of Wands, my dear. I'm hearing the bygones be bygones. Boom! All right, let's go. Bottom of the deck influencing us. Oh, wow. The devil. Remember what we just said about the fear and the shadow side? The devil. That's more of a trait of uh, the devil. Um. Mm. Let's see what this Eight of Wands is about. Okay, someone's rather hard-headed. The Wounded Warrior. Let's see what we've got here. Boom. Looks like there's going to be... This pain is going to move you towards your nine of cups towards your emotional fulfillment in yourself which is going to possibly move you and migrate you let's clarify this um knight of wands yeah 
Yeah. This is this is gonna transition you. This is gonna transform you. All right. This is this is gonna completely change who you are and how you move things. So this is this is actually a good thing. Could be some sort of com communication that goes on between the two of you, uh, or you're the best I've ever had. Da, 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 but it'll be closure. Okay. And then you can truly move forward. All right. So let's get going. Oop, oop, oop. All right. Exactly. It'll be closure so that you can hop through that, that through that portal and have um, a brand new chapter, brand new beginning. World is closing a cycle with success, so congratulations. But it is okay that you're grieving. It's normal, we get it. Oh, alrighty. Three of Cups, celebrations, joy, social gathering. So it looks like, or the three cups that we've seen, it looks like this wonderful Queen of Cups is following a calling gifted by I'm sorry, guided by the ancestors, all right? So it looks like they're being guided to have her pour out her cup of love for this particular situation, all right? It seems that these particular soulmates may have had to learn something, and it was in their best interest to, um, you know, release this particular love. Okay. Notice these are the three cups that were uh, floating around as we were grieving with the five of cups. Oh. All right, oh, all right, there we go. Three of wands. So we're waiting for our ships to come in. All right, Queen of Cups looks to have the Ten of Cups on the horizon. Oh, there we go. So, Queen of Cups seems to have a uh, a Ten of Cups on the horizon. Boom. She does have some work to put in with the Eight of Pentacles, blood, sweat, and tears. But as you can see, she's focused in the in the in the night, in the dark of the night, and she's creating these Pentacles. She's really putting the work in to get these Pentacles perfect to master them. All right. Unfortunately, we are running into a bit of a problem, though, or a small blockage. All right, maybe we're having some sort of nostalgia, possibly, that maybe ha that seems to have us in a gloomy state. When there's a lot of lot to be excited for, honestly. See what we got here. Boom. The High Priestess. Okay, so, yeah, you haven't disclosed this. You haven't spoken about this, which, honestly, I think is in your best interest. Okay, I really do think this is in your best interest to just, you know, remain calm, cool, collect, um, try, try not to open any, any doors that'll leave you gaping. Okay. I want to see what the Ten of Wands is and the High Priestess, just to be clear. Exactly. That's what I thought it was. Page of Cups moving forward, looking forward to something new, youthful, free. All right, someone's gonna have you moving upstream. I like it. So it looks like with you releasing this situation, cutting yourself down from that, you're receiving a, like an Ace of Pentacles, a blessing, a true gift from the divine. All right, now it may not seem like it just yet, but nothing the Most High ever gives us comes in the package that we expect it to be. It's always gonna be, it's always gonna be surprising. All right, but we'll always appreciate it, always at the right time, and it's always better than we could have ever imagined or hoped the situation or what we received could have been. So, you know, shout out to the Most High on that one. So, yes, this is a difficult situation for you, and you are grieving, so, like, kudos to you, love and light to you, definitely. But as far as um, payouts, the Most High has a beautiful payout here for you with this Ace of Pentacles. Let me just see if we can get a glimpse on that. What is that? Ace of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Let's see what this is. Boom. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. So we have the Three of Swords. All right, so it's like, okay, so, um, Three of Swords. So there will be heartbreak. As you can see, it will be like a storm in the middle of the night, unfortunately. Lightning striking. Okay, but, you know, wind blowing papers all around. But the justice will actually be you not being there. So um, the gift is in the lesson. 
All right. Boom. This wasn't the upright, but when I picked it up. So you guys won't be celebrating together, but you guys may be able to celebrate as friends in the future. Uh, originally, when I picked up this card, it was in the upright. When I picked it up now, it was in the reverse. So, you know, you guys may be able to celebrate as friends in the future. All right, it seems to be some sort of conflict or tension here with the Five of Wands about the cycle being closed. And I do believe it's on the opposing energy side. You walk through this, this portal successfully. You're in your divine masculine. You're doing wonderful. You're taking control. You're taking initiative. You're taking charge. And you're doing a wonderful job. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. So I really don't want to get into that energy over there so much. I kind of just want to, you know, see what's good. Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like you may be practicing something. And once you're practicing with the Five of Wands, you'll be investing. All right, Four of Cups. Maybe this is something you thought was a missed opportunity at some time. But I definitely see you practicing some sort of craft right here with the Five of of wands possibly investing in more seeing what you can create something possibly daydreaming about this good stuff good stuff ace of swords truth and clarity very good so yeah keep doing what you're doing stay focused on yourself and that's gonna help you to attract your true soulmate your true um counterpart you don't want somebody who's or yeah you don't want somebody who um Who's identical to you? You want somebody who's equally yoked to you. So there's some, some interest. So you guys can like, you know, get moving and do different things. Oh, I'm weak on this side. You're awesome at it. Perfect. You take the lead and I'll take the back burner. And then you guys switch it up as so. Um, congratulations on everything coming your way. Um, it looks like you definitely closed out a couple very difficult cycles. But you're moving forward with success. And you'll definitely be rewarded with it. Um, unfortunately, there's another lesson for the supposing energy. Um, they may try to come around and be friendly, and then they're going to be smacked with their lesson. But that's not your problem to whatsoever. You continue to do what you're doing. And honestly, whatever you're working on is legit leading you straight towards your Ten of Cups. Unconditional love, the happily ever after. Everything just emotionally f fulfilled. A truly beautiful picture. The kind that you get sick if you see in a restaurant. Like, oh, that's so gross. You know what I mean? But something that's truly, genuinely happy. So, congratulations to you. Keep up the fantastic work. I love it. And, um, yeah, love and light. Let's go. Praise the most high.